Okay, so we are back for another trip into the wilderness. It's, we got Nate here and Joe. Yeah. And so today is Saturday. We have one night, we are going to a lake about four, four and a half miles in here. And we're gonna spend the night. I'm pretty sure there's fish in there. I've been told there's fish. We got here pretty early. Where we parked the truck, it was about 25 degrees. Fishing trip in October. Colors are changing. Should be nice. It'll warm up during the day, but yeah. There's a little creek that runs along, but on our way back tomorrow, we're gonna check it out and try and see if we can find any fish or just just try. Yeah, this is a spot I've been wanting to come to for a while. We got an early start. We got two days. We got our sleeping bags. We got everything we need. We just got started a little bit ago. We've only gone like a mile. And we're about to strip a layer because it's already getting hot. And the sun's coming out in this canyon. But that's it. Anything to say? No. No? We're going to catch some fish. Yeah, we're going to catch some fish. That's all that matters. We're going to have a good time. And we're going to catch some fish as a bonus. It's going to happen. Got to manifest it. Trail is kicking our butts. I wasn't anticipating it to be this steep. It's not steep, it's just like a slow incline. So we decided that we know the lake is literally a mile down there. And the trail takes us all the way around and big old loop around it. So we're just gonna add a little adventure to this and just bushwhack our way to it because we're kind of over this hike, honestly. Nate's dying, I think. Okay. On one. So as we were bushwhacking down across here, we came across this little creek. I don't even know what creek it is. It might be the same one we crossed earlier, but we've seen some fish. And so we're going to, what time is it? It's 11.30. 11.30, so we're chilling. We're like a half a mile from the lake. So we're just gonna fish this for a little bit. Maybe we can catch something. But yeah, it's real thick in here. So we're gonna see, probably see who loses our fly first. It's probably gonna be both of us, but yeah. We're gonna try this. Maybe we can catch some. Start off, start off on a good note. Make us forget about that awful hike in. So, I just hooked on a nice one right there, and I'm gonna try again. It's I mean. It's an itty bitty pool, but there was a nice one in there. So, let's see. Well, I tried. There was a bunch of small ones in there, but... Yeah? Ooh, Nate just caught one. But there was a bunch of small ones in there, and I think I scared that big one. Cause the one I hooked was, I mean, not crazy, but for this water, he was big. I'm coming.
Maybe we should have stayed on the trail, huh? But we wouldn't have found that stream. Yeah, you wouldn't have caught those fish. Oh. We're struggling again. I can see the top though, Nate. See the top? I see it open up. Yeah. It's not too bad. It's like my uncle says. It's like eating an elephant. Just one bite at a time. Or a rhino or something. I don't forget what he says, but... Yeah. That's the gist of it. This is bigger than a rhino. This not bigger than a rhino. A little bit at a time. We're almost there. Yeah, we made it. How much do you hate me? I don't even know where the trail goes. Oh, it goes around it. Okay. Let's go get some water. Dude. Took forever. We finally did it. Took longer than forever. Finally made it. Dang, this wind sucks. It took us about two hours longer than we anticipated. But now we're trying to catch fish. Even though Nate already caught two. Yeah? Dang. Do you have your, you have your net? Oh. All right, not go. bad, huh? Yeah, it's not bad. By me. far the biggest fish ever caught on a fly rod. Yeah? Oh, yeah, we're always catching those itty bitty ones. Yeah, you're right. Dang. Oh, he came off! No! Dang, that was my fault. I was having fun with him. He worked hard for that, though. Dang. On all the trips that we come on like this, I don't know if you agree, Nate, but this is my favorite time of day for some reason. Really? You don't like it? I like it. The sun's going down and it's nice it's and right before cold. it gets right before it gets dark. Well, yeah, it's cold, but that's just what happens. But I love right now when the sun's down before it gets dark. Go and get the fire started. I got the cutthroat I caught on camera. Nate got on the GoPro. I think the battery died, so I hope I did. Nate caught a cutthroat over there also, a pretty nice one also, didn't get that on camera, sorry. And then I caught that one rainbow, and then my GoPro battery died again, and we caught a couple more rainbows, and so we're going to keep those two and cook them up tonight and eat them. And so yeah, we got something to eat besides freeze-dried meals. So not a bad trip. Nate caught two fish down in the creek. I caught three fish here, Nate caught two. It's already a, it's already a win. Had to improvise on cooking these fish because I forgot my thing. Anyways, I don't know if I've ever seen anybody do this, but I wanted to try it, and we'll see. I mean, who knows how long it'll take? But good old fashioned catch and cook. Not bad. I got a little thing right there I built. Aspen branch with the two fish hanging. I don't know how evenly they will cook, but we're going to see. This is an experiment. And we forgot our spices, so could be worse, I guess. At least we have fish to eat, but we're going to see.
Oh, I see him over here too. Damn, there's a bunch over here. It's real shallow. Look right there. Nope. He doesn't want it. Huh? Oh. Get it over that. Get it over that that log. Give me my natural. I got mine. Dude, a pretty cutty. Oh. Oh. Nice. And then go ahead and start to let him go. Like this? Yeah. And then he'll just feel it and he'll swim. Go, oh, buddy. Woo! Cool. That was a nice one. Hell yeah.